everyone. We're going to graph and solve, and we're also going to solve algebraically. I went ahead and took the liberty of graphing these. This is your linear, and the black is your, is your this is your y equals square root of x. All right, and some of y'all are used to seeing this as y equals negative x plus 6. Okay, anyway, since my y's are already set for me, I'm using substitution. And y equals y. So we have uh, the first y is square root of x. Second y is 6 minus x. You square both sides, you get x equals 6 minus x squared. And that's going to give you... Um, x equals 36 minus 12x plus x squared. And I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. That's going to be x squared. I'm uh, going to subtract x from both sides. So it's going to be minus 13x. And this is positive, so plus 36. All right. So when you when you equals your 0. So when you factor this, you're going to get x minus 4, and x plus 4. So I get x, not plus 4, but plus 9. All right. So you get x equals 4, and x equals 9, negative 9. The issue is, first of all, we already can see that when x is 4, y is 2. So the intersection here is when x is 4, y is 2. When you look at this one, we have to dis discard this. Because remember, we squared both sides. So you have to check for extraneous solutions. And in particular, I'm going to go look at this one. We have y equals square root of negative 9. So yes, that, that is uh, 3i. But we only want uh, real solutions. So... Um, we can't do that. So there's no real solutions with x equals negative 9. So we discard that. We want real numbers, not complex numbers. Okay, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.